Hi, this is Phil Shapiro. I'm the instructor for the seniors computer class here in the Tacoma Park Community Center. It's offered by the Recreation Department. It's a six-week class that costs $10, and we're really proud of the successes from this class. We've been teaching the class about five or six years, and the purpose of the class is to make our seniors, people over 55, more comfortable with computers. We purposely don't teach too much. And we've had some wonderful testimonials from students who come up to the instructors. There's me, myself, Phil, and then we have two volunteers who are both outstanding, Jim and Jane. Jim Mueller and Jane Hawkinson are both outstanding teachers, and they're both retired. So they come and share their talents. And once we had one of our students come up to us halfway through our six-week class and said, you know, I'm no longer afraid of computers at all. And that meant the world to us. We had removed his fear, and now he could spend time with his grandson, who's seven, and not be uh, fearful about that, in actually enjoy those moments together. Then we had another situation, one of our students, Annie Days, I was talking just a week or two ago that computers can be a fun hobby. And Annie chimed in and said, a fun hobby? I'm on my computer several hours every day. And Annie took our class more than once. So let's hear a little bit from Annie. Annie, how, uh, you were telling in the class that you like to watch YouTube videos. Yes. So how many hours do you watch a day? Of, or how many hours do you spend on your laptop? It's a shame to say, but around about four or five. Four or five hours a day. Yes. And what do you like to look up on YouTube? Uh, I like the music a lot. The music, old, old. The oh old, yeah, the old is. Old time music. Yeah, yeah, I go way back and look at that. Right. The way you teach, I really love it because you take time with this and you don't rush. We don't rush. No. And there's a lot of laughing in the classroom, right? Right, and, the, and you ask all the questions we ask. You take the time to come to each one of us. Right, it's a long class. It lasts for two hours. So we're not rushed. That is true. We're not rushed. If we have a question, you'll come to each one of us and try to explain. So right. I think that is nice. I'll tell everybody I know about this class. You were even mentioned to me in class that sometimes you crawl into bed at 3 a.m. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I was at one more game or one more song, you know. I keep doing that. And before I know it, I look around, it's 3 o'clock. A couple of years ago, I didn't, right. practically didn't know how to turn a computer on. Really? My first time in this class, you took the time and I learn how to do something, so okay. I was looking again, I sort of guess I'm going to take it again because I like being around those people. Right. And the senior citizen computer class is the best thing happened to me in a long time. I didn't know what I was going to do when I retired. Oh, and this is your fun extra hobby now, right? This is it, yeah. and it takes up a lot of time, and I love it. <laughs> Let's hear a little bit from Jim Mueller. And Jim has some real fascinating stories to tell. He was in the Peace Corps, and um, I'm going to let him tell the story about how we were teaching Google Maps one day. And he brought in such an interesting personal angle to teaching Google Maps. Okay, the chicken coop. I was showing uh, where I worked in Lesotho in Southern Africa in the Peace Corps. I was actually teaching computers to a care program. And uh, we found my house and I went on satellite view and I could see the actual roof of the chicken coop that I built while I was there. The results. You see people each, each week, uh, maybe they, I got it. Uh, you know, it's not maybe they say that exactly, but they, you can see that they feel they get something and uh, they may not have come up and said, you, you've taken away my fear, but you can tell by other more subtle hints right. that, that, that they're getting it and you can tell when they go out and do something with the computer that you didn't even suggest because they got this new interest. So we open up some doors and humor is a good part of this. this. We, have to, we have to be able to laugh at ourselves if we make a mistake right. and I'm certainly good at that right. for myself and uh, that, that we, does help. And this means that somebody is more comfortable they're comfortable doing what they're doing, and learning will take place when you're comfortable. Well, originally, there were some, some requests from uh, some of the seniors to the senior coordinator, and we thought it would be a great idea, so we put together a class. And we did it on a Saturday, and it was four hours. And we, we 
we showed them all about digital cameras and then they also we had hands-on where they would take a picture they if they brought one they could use theirs if not we had a couple of, of the ones here and then they could process them through the computer to make a print or to send them as an email so that by the time they left they had a fairly decent grasp of little basics on, on digital cameras. In the last three years I've been able to condition and Phil has been able to help me distribute to people 62 so far and um, things are looking up as my skills increase. I can open up the case, replace whatever hardware needs to be replaced except I haven't done a, done a, done a board yet. Um, and then I can just start start fresh with the software. Uh, a fresh install. Yeah, a fresh install of the software and usually put either uh, Windows XP or, or a, a Linux inst installation or both. And also um, a lot of different kinds of free software that I can get such as Open Office and t Tux Typing for learning how to type. I'm just really proud of what so many of the seniors have been able to do. You know, I, I'll never, I will never underestimate anybody that comes in for this class. You know, I think that I think the differences among people are, are, are of, of interest and of willingness to learn. You know, there isn't, we don't see very many people that can't learn. And I want to tell you a story about one of my star pupils, Isaiah Osho, who's 85. And he came walking into this room one day and he said, I want to learn how to touch type with 10 fingers. So I said, sit yourself down here. And he came by day after day to practice. I'm going to let him tell some of his story right now. I came straight here and I met Phil, who was so kind to me, so nice. He asked me to go and register, and I did. I've been coming here now for some few months because I really want to know or learn more every day. Isaiah is teaching himself how to type with 10 fingers. He's using a website called typingweb.com. And then I'm coaching him. I'm asking him to type a little faster, like boom, 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 boom. I was passing by the, the uh, bulletin for Tacoma Park seniors, and I saw this class for 10 bucks. And I thought, that's cheap enough that if I don't like it, I will leave. And uh, it's been really interesting. I, I've picked up all kinds of neat stuff, so like um, doing group contacts, where I used to laboriously type out everybody's address in order to send, a, you know, something. And now I just kind of make make a group thing. It's uh, gotten more comfortable exploring, because I know that if I go off the deep, end, I, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to wreck the computer if, if I click around this, that, and the other. We even say in this class that if we hear that there's somebody laughing, that laughing is learning. So we encourage people not to be at all apprehensive and to enjoy the moment of that moment of discovery. We want it to be a public moment and that if you hear laughter in the classroom, that in a modern classroom is to be celebrated.